everybody, this is John Keller. We're at the AUVSI show this week in Orlando, which is one of the biggest uh, shows for unmanned vehicle systems in the air, on the water, and on the ground, in the whole world. Um, it's an interesting show this year, um, although I can see the trends are towards smaller unmanned aerial vehicles, whereas in the past it's been more the heavy iron, more, more the very large unmanned aerial vehicles. Um, I think that um, a, lot of, a, a lot of the authorities in the military who have had an interest in unmanned aerial vehicles, many of them already have them. And so uh, my gut impression is that that market is starting to level off. And instead of having the explosive growth that, growth that we've had for you know, many, many years, um, we're starting to see more of a stable market where uh, it's primarily replacements, augmentations, things like that. Where I'm seeing a lot of growth is in the very small unmanned aerial vehicles for law enforcement, for agriculture, um, for hobbyists, people who are just trying to get uh, a unique uh, view of photography. Uh, I think that um, ultimately they're going to run into problems like they've been having at Yosemite National Park where uh, because they're, they're noisy, uh, the National Park Service is going to prohibit them. So, you know, right now um, there's very little regulation uh, from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. I think that'll change, but as of right now, really what we're seeing is uh, in the unmanned vehicle market is the Wild West out there. Um, I think that's going to change uh, fairly quickly, but I think a lot of people in this market are trying to get in and establish a market, establish branding, establish a customer base uh, before a lot of these regulations hit.